because I try to keep it very authentic. It's a visual treasure trove from another time. I feel like it helps the viewer because I feel like you're putting the viewer right there where you are. Snapshots capturing the intensity of World War II. When I'm taking a photo with like a person, I try to get real close up tight on the individual. But look closely. These historic pics are anything but. Get like this. I'll, I'll get in this position and then I'll see, okay, how, how is that going to look if I come down at this angle? The photographs are the work of an artist known simply as Clutch. The person kind of steps back and then they, they take another little look, that shock. You know, and then they look and then they do a little bit more look and they're like, wait, is this, am I really looking at a toy? Using miniature soldiers, the 51-year-old recreates lifelike combat in black and white and vivid color. If they're holding a weapon, get them in that crouch. How would he be behind a building? And I can feel my own body tighten up when I'm trying to pose that into that figure. The VCU grad seemed destined for this creative endeavor. Didn't have a lot of toys. I, get, I would get a lot of plastic army men. I love that. As a boy, Clutch got lost in the world of military make-believe. Borrowing his father's camera, Clutch would produce and direct these home movies of famous battles like Iwo Jima and D-Day. I'm sitting here with little sticks under the sand and I'd push on them to get the sand to, to go up while I had the little eight millimeter camera. And uh, to this day, I still got it. But Clutch didn't want to settle with just playing with plastic soldiers. Well, I've always known I was gonna wear green. I've always known it. At 24, the Richmond native joined the United States Army. This is the Army today. One of the newest Striker Brigade combat teams tweaks its focus. Clutch was in his element, as seen in this Army training video from 14 years ago. It is real world, and my soldiers deserve 100% out of me because I ask 100% out of them. The platoon leader deploys to Bosnia and then Iraq. I'm I joined to be combat arms. That's what I joined for. Oh, there's combat, so point me in that direction. On April 1st, 2008, while serving in Sadr City, Clutch's life nearly ends on a rooftop. Uh, we went in that night and uh, got into a firefight that night. A 500-pound bomb detonates on the street below. The building looked like the Oklahoma City building. They had to climb up debris to get to where we were at. Clutch suffers a traumatic brain injury, hearing loss, and other internal injuries. Just a lot of just haze, but I can, I can close my eyes and I can physically see the striker ramp down and the 50 cal firing. And I was on, Joey had me on his back. The soldier's toughest fight was just beginning. It's a constant, um, it's a daily thing. All these years later, the married father still lives with scars on the outside and in. I found that I just can't sit and talk to some therapist who's never been downrange. But I can put it in a photo or I can do it in a drawing. For an outlet, Clutch is turning back the clock. Oh yeah, there's some times where I've done some and I'm like, ooh, I didn't even see that one coming. Combining toys with talent is proving beneficial to this innovative veteran. So I'll probably in a photo session probably take 300 photos just to get like three or four photos that I like. Clutch finds comfort in the rawness of his photographs and drawings of close combat. Art is a big release, you know, for me. It helps me get what's on in, out onto paper, and kind of deal with it a little bit more. When some of his images trigger dark memories. It, there's days that it will consume me. The artist retreats to photographing his other passion, Star Wars. Realism is extremely important. I guess what I'm trying to portray in there also is it's not pretty. His pictures are gaining a loyal following on social media. Some people have asked me, are you pulling from experience? Are you just pulling from imagination? Or where are you pulling from? Last fall, Clutch's artwork was selected to appear in the Veterans Art Gallery at the Virginia War Memorial. Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, well, yeah, it's, where's it at? It's at the Virginia War Memorial. Like, what? How did that happen? <laughs> so first, when you walk by, you'll see um, small dioramas, something that's similar to maybe toys you may have played with when you were a child. The memorial Stephanie Savidra says Clutch's lived experiences shine through in the grittiness of his images. But when you see the actual photo, it looks like journalistic combat photography. If I look at it at a different angle and a different view, I might get something else out of it. The artist known as Clutch is coming full circle while keeping it simple. <laughs>
just using a simple iPhone 7 and one app and a great big imagination. It's a longtime love affair with little army men that just may lead this real life soldier down a path of healing. Hopefully, you know, and if there's anybody else out there, you know, just pick a camera up, look through a lens, get a different angle at something because it helps you see things in a different light. For I Have a Story, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.